Hey G-Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode right this cool amazing part right here on my hand and basically what this is is a snorkeling mask and this one is not like the one where you just get like the one where it covers the eyes and the mouth this one is a one whole set that covers your whole entire face which is pretty awesome so that way when you guys are snorkeling you can definitely see everything and not completely cover just on the eyes area if you guys are curious what I mean you guys can refer to this image right here but first thing first I'm actually opening up the product to show you guys what's included inside first so it's definitely really nice how they provide you guys a very nice little bag that you can use to carry around but right here we have the actual product itself so let's take it out alright so this is basically what the product looks right here you can see there's a bunch of stuff inside in the back right here just take it all out. All right, so first thing is right here, they provide you guys a waterproof pouch that you can use for your smartphone. If you guys don't have one already, you can definitely use the one that's included for you guys here. Next step right here, they provide you guys a user manual to teach you guys how to use the product itself. And then right here, they provide you guys an extra tool that you can use to actually screw it back on if you guys do lose one of the parts. And right here, they provide you guys some ear tips, ear buds. That way, you can actually stick it onto your ear to prevent any water from getting in. And that is basically everything that's included in the packaging itself. So right here, we have the snorkeling mask. If you can see, it has the full protection for your whole entire face once you guys put it on and the cool thing about this one in particular is the fact that it has this tube on top where it's open up like that which is definitely super awesome and if you look on the other side here they do have the protection or suction part here to actually protect you guys from getting any water in once you guys strap it on which is super nice and for this one in particular it actually provides you guys this mounting accessory that you can actually use to mount it on here so just like this Alright, so once you guys put that part on right there, then you guys can actually mount on like your GoPro or whatever. So you can actually film stuff underwater and you guys don't have to use your hand to carry it, which is super awesome. So if you guys are wondering what these different parts is for right here, like the top part and then the bottom part right here, you guys refer to the image right here. Obviously the mask itself will give you guys a wide view compared to your normal snorkeling masks, which is super awesome. Supposedly for the material that they use on here, it's supposed to be anti-fog as well. But I won't really know until I actually use it underwater, which I won't be able to do that until the end of the month. But I'm definitely going to put it on right now to show you guys what it looks like in a second. And when I shake the product itself, you guys can hear this ball inside right here. And basically what that is for is closing the valve itself. So basically when you guys are above the water level, this ball will go down like what it is right now. And once you guys go underwater, this part goes up. So that way you can actually steal any of the water from getting in. So that's definitely a really cool feature so that way none of the water can get in even when you guys are diving underneath the water. And once you guys come back up, this part opens back up. So that way you can actually breathe once you guys come up from the water itself. But definitely really cool how they have this mount option right here. So you guys can actually mount your GoPro on here and just record stuff underwater. And that way you just don't have to use a hand to record stuff which is super convenient. And obviously for this product they actually have in different colors. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one's best for you guys. And then for the back part here you can see the very nice strap that's super comfortable. And it's also adjustable as well so you can actually make it tighter or looser based on your own preference. But that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now I'm actually put it on to show you guys what it actually looks like. Alright so basically once I put it on you can see that this is basically what it looks like. So this is what the front part looks like and this is what the side looks like and the back side. So the moment I put this on, it definitely feels really comfortable. I made it a little bit more looser, but when I go underneath the water, I probably want to make it a little bit more tighter, so that way the mask itself won't fall off. Because right now it feels a little bit loose. So you definitely see the part itself looks pretty nice and feels really comfortable as well. But right now it's fine because I'm not underneath the water, so I don't need to make it too tight. But right now, as you can see, I'm talking on here and not really fogging up too much. But I feel like once I'm underneath the water, it probably won't fog as much. Definitely wearing this a lot more different than your normal snorkeling mask where you only have the mask and the mouthpiece right here. This one's like a one whole set, which is pretty interesting. And also for this one right here, it has a little protective film as well. So I need to remove that first to get the best angle of it. But once I remove it and see my eyes inside right there, it definitely has a full-on cover so that way none of the water get in. And I can definitely breathe in here. It's probably a little bit harder to breathe in here compared to the lab mask, but you can definitely see that it works pretty well. It's definitely a little bit foggy inside right here, but not too bad. It definitely has the anti-fogging that I mentioned inside right here, otherwise it would be much worse. So this is basically what the product looks right here. If I move further away, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. Even with the top part right here. If I want to mount this GoPro accessory, I can definitely do that as well. Alright, so after testing out the product itself and having it on, it definitely feels pretty nice. It definitely is a little bit constricted a little bit, but that's what you guys have to sacrifice when you guys are wearing a snorkeling mask for snorkeling or whatever. But the product itself is definitely well made. If you can see the material on here and everything feels really nice. They mentioned how it's all supposed to be anti-shattering as well even here the material itself. So for right now, I can't really test this out because I don't have time to go snorkeling yet, but I do plan on snorkeling later on. So I'll probably bring this along with me when I do go snorkeling and give you guys a better view of it and an updated review of it. But so far as a first-hand perspective of actually just trying out and just unboxing by itself, 
it definitely works pretty well and it feels really nice. But that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we're still unboxing and testing the actual product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I definitely have to say that as a first-hand perspective, this product is definitely a lot more worth it than buying like your normal snorkeling mask that comes separately with the mask right here and then your mouth guard or whatever that isn't used to breathe air on the mouth. This one's like a one whole set where everything's included right here and you guys don't have to bring like different parts or whatever. <laughs> But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.